In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your Bitcoin back to your local currency or withdraw it to an external wallet with the Crypto.com app. And I've also got a separate tutorial showing you how to buy your very first Bitcoin with the likes of a bank transfer or a credit or debit card. I'll put a timeline in the summary below so that you can just jump to specific parts of the tutorial if you wish. For more information on Crypto.com, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. So let's jump in and take a look. And if you don't already have an account with Crypto.com, then I've got a link in the summary below that you can use, which will get you up to $25 in cash back. The first thing I'll do is show you how you can withdraw the Bitcoin that you may be holding in your Crypto.com app to an external wallet before I go through and show you how to sell and withdraw to a bank account. So if we head across to the Accounts tab and press on to Crypto Wallet, here you'll find all your active crypto balances. I'm going to press on to Bitcoin now. Then choose to transfer and withdraw. You'll then have the option to withdraw to other Crypto.com app users the Crypto.com exchange, if for example you wanted to trade for more diverse tokens, to their own DeFi wallet or to an external wallet, which is what I'm going to be doing today, as I want to store my Bitcoin within the Ledger hardware wallet. So I'll press on to external wallet, where you'll then be presented with the address whitelist. And in here is where you can set up where you'd like to transfer your crypto to. As I said, I'm going to be sending mine across to my Ledger hardware device. So I'm going to need to enter in the address into here by adding a wallet address. Now, because I'm sending to my Bitcoin address on my ledger, I'm just going to head across to Ledger Live now. Then go to Receive. I'll need to make sure that I've got Bitcoin selected from the list and continue. And then I'm going to copy my Bitcoin address. Now, if you're not sending your funds across to a ledger, you'll find that the same sort of process will apply to any type of wallet that you're sending your crypto to. If you're sending your crypto to an exchange instead, you'll probably find that you'll need to click on deposit and then you'll be presented with an address to copy and paste into here instead. And you'll always want to make sure that you're sending the correct type of crypto to the correct address. If, for example, you send Bitcoin across to an Ethereum address, you do risk losing your crypto. And you can then enter in a wallet name in here too, just so that you know what this address relates to. For me, I'm going to enter in Ledger but it might be the name of your wallet or the exchange that you're sending this across to. For any new addresses, it might also be worth sending across a test amount first, just so that you know that you have all the information set up correctly. Once that's complete, you can then press on to withdraw BTC beside your newly set up wallet address. Then enter in the amount that you'd like to withdraw. Or you can press on to max to send it all. Now, one thing to be aware of here is that there is a minimum withdrawal amount of 0.003 BTC, which at the time of this recording works out to be about £130. And you can also create a note in here if you wish. Then when you're happy, you can withdraw. And you'll then need to go through and confirm. As you can see, there is a fee to withdraw to external addresses. With withdrawals to their own exchange, it is free of charge, but to external addresses, this does cost. And once you've confirmed the transaction, and you've gone through any additional two-factor authentication that you may have set up on your account, you'll see that my Bitcoin balance is now zero. Plus, it's no longer appearing under my crypto wallet here. Now, depending on how busy the network is, that might take a little time to confirm and then reach the address that you've sent it across to. So don't necessarily expect this to be instant. Mine took around 20 minutes. So that's how you send your Bitcoin to an external wallet. However, if you've held it for a while and you feel that now is the right time to sell it, then I'll show you the process of selling and withdrawing back to a bank account now. So at the moment, we have our Bitcoin, but to essentially cash out, we'll need to sell it for fiat currency like GBP, as a bank account obviously can't accept Bitcoin. From the home screen, if you choose trade and then sell, and the available cryptos to sell from your crypto wallet will then show. And I've got active balances with all these cryptos, and that's the reason they're all appearing. But today I'm going to be selling BTC. You'll then have the options of either selling it and exchanging it for another crypto. You can sell it to a card wallet, which basically means selling it to their own crypto.com card so that you can have your funds preloaded for spending. 
Now I actually do have the Ruby Still card as you can see, but for this tutorial, I'll show you how to withdraw back to a bank account. So if we choose Fiat Wallet, you can sell and deposit the funds into your Euro or GBP Wallet. So I'm gonna be selling to my GBP Wallet. And if I choose Sell and confirm my transaction, once that's gone through, the funds will then be showing in your Fiat Wallet. So now that we've sold our crypto for GBP, we can withdraw that back to our bank account. By pressing Transfer and Withdraw. And it'll then ask what you'd like to withdraw. And we're gonna choose British Pounds. And it then shows the withdrawal process. So first, you'll need to submit your GBP withdrawal request. Then wait for their review, which can take a few days. And finally, you'll receive your funds into your bank account within one working day afterwards. So just be aware here that there is a minimum withdrawal of 70 GBP and a maximum daily withdrawal of 72,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw now. And this is going to withdraw to the account that I deposited from earlier, as obviously I've already linked this bank account. Now automatically it will pre-populate with 100 pounds into the withdrawal amount, but you can obviously edit this too, and I'll be withdrawing the max available. Then you can press on to withdraw at the bottom of the screen. And a confirmation will then appear. So just press on to confirm when you're happy. And as it stated earlier, there is a wait time of two to four days for the review, and then one working day from the actual transfer. Now my request is now pending for review, and I'll be informed when this is done. My funds actually went back into my bank account within two working days. And as I said, there is a lot more to Crypto.com than just buying or selling crypto. And if you want to find out more, then please check out my series of videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.